this video I'm gonna uh, explain you how you can create the artifacts for the build in Dream Stream. Uh, so before you uh, create or uh, run the build and create the artifact, what you have to do is you have to do one uh, build setting. Say for example, uh, go to the build settings first, edit configuration settings, and then on the general settings, you will find one setting called as artifact paths. So you have to give the path of the artifact. Uh, like uh, the files, uh, the path of the files that you want to store as artifact. So if you uh, put this uh, field empty, then artifacts will not be stored. So you have to give the uh, path of the build directory. Fair, uh, from here you have to copy the artifacts. So I'm gonna show you sample artifact that I have already configured for some of the builds. So as you can see this build has got artifacts because if you go to the settings of this build I have mentioned that copy everything from this uh, directory and paste it uh, into the server's artifacts section. So whenever this build will be run it will create the artifact and you can view that artifact by going to the artifacts tab and then from there you can view that artifact so all these files were copied because I have given the artifact path in the uh, configuration settings so that's how you can create the artifacts uh, in the team city if you do not provide the path in artifacts uh, settings you this tab itself will not be shown so that's how you can manage the artifacts in team city if you like this video hit like button thank you